Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 23rd of June 1960, the United States Food and Drug Administration approved Enovid as the first combined oral contraceptive pill in the world. The early 20th century saw the emergence of a social reform campaign that sought to increase the availability of contraception in the United States. Margaret Sanger, a nurse who'd been influenced by the liberal contraception policies in Europe, introduced the phrase birth control in her newsletter The Woman Rebel and, after her arrest for running a birth control clinic, lobbied the government to treat contraception as a public health issue rather than one of morality. By the late 1930s, birth control had become a normal part of medical practice, and scientists had discovered that high doses of certain hormones could inhibit ovulation. Spurred on by this, and an interest in eugenics, Sanger helped to obtain funding for biologist Gregory Pincus to conduct research into hormonal contraceptives from suffragist and philanthropist Catherine Dexter McCormick. Having successfully tested the hormone on animals, Pincus partnered with gynaecologist John Rock to begin testing the drug on women. With the support of American eugenicist Clarence Gamble, trials were conducted in some of the poorer parts of Puerto Rico that found the drug to be highly effective at preventing pregnancy. This was soon followed by a second series of trials in the United States. Under the name Enovid, the drug was initially approved by the Food and Drug Administration for treating menstrual disorders. Three years later, on the 23rd of June 1960, the FDA approved it for contraceptive use. 400,000 women saw their doctors to obtain Enovid contraceptive prescriptions in the first year, but it's estimated that oral contraceptives are now used by more than 100 million women worldwide. Thank you.